from home, from home, from work to home. And I'm slightly calm right now. I was all day really nervous because my computer memory, the hardware disk just totally gave up on me. So I actually ordered a hardware disk and I found on YouTube the way to clean the disk and I did it. So I'm happy. <laughs> First of all, tomorrow is my husband's birthday. I got him the cutest cake, which I'm hiding here. It really weird way. He won't look at it, right? Would he question what is this? Look how adorable is this cake, guys. Sorry about the napkin in the background. I mean, wow. It's from a company called D Bakers. D Bakers. It's in Miami. They do the best cakes on the world. Cupcakes to die for. Everything is like cheese, you know, and it's like good stuff. Pigment 400 to start the day. I was planning to sleep a long time today, which didn't happen again. I slept like five hours. <laughs> That's why my skin is acting crazy. I have like this situation here, situation here. This one is gone already, but I don't like this kind of situations. Mask we want is what I need. So I'm getting ready for manicure to go right now. <laughs> what a kind of English was that? I don't know guys, I don't know. It's Friday. Today is Friday. Let's make the best of it. So my skin has been a little bit off, so it has some kind of healing to do. So I'm gonna just like soak my face in placenta serum because placenta serum heals it all. And I saw placenta. This thing hurts. That's the best way to start the day for me after the lemon water. Don't forget the lemon water. just came from a manicure look at that i went for this beautiful natural color guys don't ask me the numbers i mean the names because this is like this japanese brand they use and it's not classic shellac but it's gel but it's something japanese and it's like not more natural it doesn't have so many chemicals so it doesn't really ruin your nails as much but it's the same process as, as normal gel but yeah, this is my favorite color. I have been doing the ombre for quite a time, so I felt like I need to break and just go more natural. Plus at my job, I cannot have color. I have to be like this. What's the time? Vernix time. <laughs> no, this is not Vernix. <laughs> mask we want. This is mask we want time, guys, right now. Yeah looks lovely ready to wash it off and make my skin proper for a date night face is clean i've been having little crazy weird breakouts i don't know what's going on not cool and because we are getting ready to go out i want to glow so these two babies are coming to my life right now and 
I will soak my face in it. I already used P50 today once, so I'm not gonna use it for the second time. I am so sore from my workout. You have no idea. That hurts really bad. Everything hurts so, so bad. This eyeshadow holds really well guys, it's from MAC, it's the, the cream eyeshadow, I love it, but it's not exactly easy to remove. I feel like I'm always getting ready, <laughs> but today I'm getting ready to go somewhere I actually like to go. It's my husband's birthday, I mean it was yesterday, the 1st of April, and I'm taking him for birthday dinner. <laughs> I already gave him his gift last week because I, because I needed to find out if it fit, if it will fit. So, sometimes you have to do things like that. I'm gonna put kiss on my lips. I <laughs> ran out of eye cream. Uh, I have this... Vichy Lifting Eye Balm, Balm, <laughs> Balm, from Walmart. I like Walmart products. Mm, it's a really gel, it's a gel. Can you see? There you go. So let's see. Placenta. There we go. Guys, on the end of this month, we are staying in a hotel. So I'm gonna get tan. I'm so excited. Let's spray this lotion corrective to my hair. The smell is really disturbing. I don't like it. Orbe Maximista thickening spray and heat protecting spray as well from Orbe. Invisible Defense is the name.
I just arrived home from work and my Amazon package arrived. I purchased um, face masks. So if you have to wear face mask for so many hours a day, it gets really freaking annoying. <laughs> so this is how it looks. It looks weird, but look at that. Wait, <laughs> balance it. Okay, this is a first video of me putting face mask on here. There you go. So it's this one, the Medi mask is really spacious. My nose gets amazing support. I can breathe. When I exhale, it goes away from here, which is quite awesome. I have space for my lips and my nose is not touching either. So this is super comfortable. I really like it. Love it. I will probably get more because I got only 10 of them. The other one, this pink one, which is a premium happy life. <laughs> Guys, the writing is not correct. It's in, a, it's from Amazon. All of it, it's from Amazon. This one is slightly smaller. They both stay large, but this one is smaller. Okay. This one is a little bit tighter on the ears, but still very comfortable. But it has a little bit less fabric here on the chin. This is so much more comfortable. I feel like I can wear this actually all day without losing my mind. Because sometimes really, after wearing this thing on my face for all day, it affects me. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but wonderful. If you really, really looking for something comfortable, this is pretty impressive. Put it on Amazon. How much was it? I don't remember. It's all in Korean language, so I cannot read anything to you, but on a Korean language. Did I say it correctly? Korean, Korean, Korean. Wow, long, you see? That's why I need this mask, because oxygen is missing from my head and the brain is not working. Anyway, very impressed. <laughs> I would like to show you more, but like, as you can see, the writing is just not for people like me. <laughs> anyway, okay guys, I think my husband went to pick up some wine because I need wine really badly. I'm going to watch a book of Eli now. I'm gonna put the one mask on before that though. And then I'm gonna have a glass of wine while I'm watching. I love the movie, it's really good. Do you feel sometimes when you come home from work like it's just like, come on people, come on, right? <laughs> so let's wash this face i changed t-shirt i don't know i felt more comfortable and something more flowy this is alo yoga yeah i really like this makeup i did good job today <laughs> anyway let's take it off <laughs> i will need to buy more cleansing milk very soon because it's almost done oh my god i will miss these eyebrows but I did a really freaking good job do you have this kind of days when you like something just worked so good look at that I really freaking like it yeah I'm perfect sometimes things just go better should I leave them on for the mask probably not right it's okay I can figure out my life without these perfect brows. It takes practice, about 35 years. Six, 37. <laughs> Don't even know how old I am. Because it's been a long day. <laughs> so I have been skipping a little bit of my mask we want, and I really have to get back on track. It's just I'm like running out. So it's so uncomfortable to push it out. And last time like the whole bathroom was dirty and I had to wash the sink. Is there any specific way? Do you have any advice of applying this madness to your face? Because with all honesty, I feel like it's always mess. So tomorrow morning I want to wake up and do workout. So I have to wake up super early. What time? 5.40. That's the time for me to work out because to get dressed, 
drink some water before my workout it that takes about 10 minutes set up my video and put my yoga mats that takes about yeah no, 10 minutes all together and then I work out for about 54 minutes and then I like to enjoy 15-20 minutes of shower so that's the plan for tomorrow we'll see if I can really do it I look crazy I don't care I mean you know what I mean like come on it's a face mask right let's go watch book of Eli get ready guys let's get ready for the day i just put my eyebrows on honestly i don't know what's going on with these <laughs> dark circles that is just a madness i have a little headache anyway um <laughs> i am going to oh no way if you could see <laughs> okay i dropped it long time ago so i was expecting this to happen but not right now anyway <laughs> my dear eyeshadow like fell apart it was on a time <laughs> i have another one of this stone because they don't make it anymore every time i like something is discontinued so guys um some of you asked me what are my favorite brushes for makeup so i have this here this fluffy brush is from uh, Tom Ford. I don't use this one anymore because it's too big. But I uh, exchanged it, <laughs> exchanged it, upgraded <laughs> for this one from Hourglass. This is, I believe, the larger size. So I use this one for like powder around my eyes and this side for bronzer. It's awesome, super easy to use and wash. So. For foundation, I have uh, this one from Tom Ford and this one is from um, Bobbi Brown. These are super old, classic foundation. Barely use them because I don't really apply foundation, but if I do, it's one of those I will use. Chanel, this is super old, super horrible. I hate this one. I need to buy a new blush brush because this leaves the little hairs all over my face. It's the most annoying thing on the world. I have this uh, twice. This is super old as well. This is from Dior. The Dior is not even there no more. It's so old. This is concealer brush. I use it like to shape my eyebrows, just to clean up. So I like flat makeup brush like this. I have it twice. Because sometimes when I really like something, I buy two. <laughs> You will find out very soon right now. Another brush which I like to use to blend my concealer is from Hourglass. This one is, um, I don't know, the number. I don't think they number their brushes. So this is from Hourglass. So as well, I have here a lot of Tom Ford, which technically the same thing I have from Tom Ford, I have from MAC. This brush I use <laughs> to apply a um, mask. <laughs> I don't even use it for makeup. I, it wasn't good purchase because it's quite fluffy and long and maybe it's good for like highlighting, but I don't do that. Oops. I have lipstick brush, which I don't use either. <laughs> I have two arch brushes. Let me show you. These are from MAC. They're the same. 203 or 9 208 guys I can see the number I think it's 208 oh god damn yes I think it's 208 <laughs> I have two of them I just like you know dip the eyebrow powder in it works perfect I like the smaller more than the large ones so then I have a whole, whole military of the same kind of <laughs> brushes here. Let me show you. These are the ones I use all the time. The rest which is here, I don't really care for. So here, this is, I have two different sizes. <laughs> so the 
there we go. I have four and four. So I have this classic buff brush from two of them are from Tom Ford. These two are from MAC. The ones from MAC is again a color, I mean tone color <laughs> brush, which better doesn't like, doesn't have the number. 217, 217. So 217 is this brush, which I like to blend. I have the same stuff from Tom Ford. This is softer than the one from MAC. I have to say, sometimes I prefer the one from MAC better than the one from Tom Ford. But these are my favorite, favorite brushes. I use them all the time, that's why I have four of them. Then I have these four. As you can see, compare to the other one, these are bigger, more fluffy. I have one from Hourglass. I have three from Tom Ford. <laughs> I used to work for Tom Ford, so I used uh, my employee discount at the time. That's why I have so many Tom Ford brushes. The rest of my brushes are just like mistakes I purchased <laughs> or the ones I didn't use that much. These two, one is again Tom Ford, one is MAC. The one from MAC is number... Can't tell, it's so old. And the Tom Ford as Tom Ford is 14. <laughs> So I use this one when I really, really need to clean up something. Like I like to clean up here in my corner with like light eyeshadow. So I do it with these two brushes because I don't do for completely something else, but that's what I use them for. Or if I want to clean up under my eyebrows, that's what I use it for. Then I actually really enjoy this one when I am creating a eyeliner with my dark eyeshadow. This is from Tom Ford number 15 yeah it's super flat super structured but doesn't scratch my eye line which is very good then these these purchases were kind of mistakes this i technically never use but sometimes i use it for the same reason as the ones i just used just to clean up the skin because i really don't use this one <laughs> Then this one is the same mistake, as you can see there is a light eyeshadow coming through it, which means I actually, actually, these two, I remember now, these two I use for highlighting this part of my eye when I'm applying like a little bit of sparkly eyeshadow, I will use it with my makeup now. This one is the same as the MAC and Tom Ford, the, the, the short ones, but it's from Hourglass. And this one honestly is not so good as you can see it's like goes everywhere and i don't feel like i have good control of it and i feel like it's a little too long so yeah uh this one was number eight this is number six and twelve so these are the brushes but honestly you can buy these anywhere you don't have to spend so much money on brushes then these two i barely use i don't even know what they really are like some kind of eyeshadow I use it sometimes when I have like cream eyeshadow, like a MAC eyeshadow. I just like move it in it and apply it for my eye, but I don't care for them at all actually. So I'm going to show you. How I use, where's the MAC one? I don't want the MAC. <laughs> right here, right here. How I use, oops. So, problem. <laughs> like really it pushes here, so crazy. So that's my um, makeup brush collection. I have one more, actually I forgot. I've been receiving so many questions about this one. Guys, this is from Artis. Can you see Artis? It's the smaller size. I think they have another sizes. I choose this one for traveling. I think they have it on like a little stick as well and I use it for under eye areas. I'm gonna put my SPF on from Skin Skinceutical. This is the 50. This is the oil base tinted. There we go. That's how much I like to use. And because I am about to drive somewhere actually, I'm going to get Botox to lift the eyebrows. <laughs> Yeah, I'm doing it. I know I say I don't want to, that's why I got the Macio Curian device, but I've been so tired lately, not, I don't have time for the Macio Curian treatment that much. So 
So I decide to do it. Yeah. I'm gonna put my Armani. That's not a color I want. I want the number five tone. As you can see, it's really different in it. This is 3.75. This is super fair, and this is a little bit better. So I don't look like a dad. <laughs> Sorry for hearing my husband in the background. You know that's how it is in this house. He works from home, so that's what it is. So that's about it. I love this concealer. I used other day that I have sample of what's the name of the foundation of the silk foundation and oh wow it's unbelievably good. Really good. You see how easy it's to blend with this? Super easy. And of course it removes a little bit of the product, but I am more about the natural look so it like it's like feels so soft super super soft delicate i love this product i was about to buy more of them but <laughs> this is technically all i need because i don't know if i would ever learn how to use this for eyeshadows and as you can tell i have enough of brushes too many too many so this is the and if I see like I have a little redness somewhere, I just like go over it with this and that's it. That will be it of the makeup guys, right there. <laughs> so that, guys, this color was discontinued. Yes, it's annoying. But honestly, you can find any other tone from NARS. NARS is great. I used to use Guerlain Terracotta. I saw they have some new packaging, which is adorable. I'm probably gonna get one but as you can see I have plenty of this one I just like to find one thing that works for me and I stick to it I don't like to test so many things because I have very sensitive skin and it's the most annoying thing to have on the world so I will try to use uh, I'm sorry my phone is blinking on me <laughs> I am going to try to use this glossier uh, product I'm not obsessed with it Thank God it's such a small size. I don't think I will ever finish using it. Because look, it's so liquidy. So quite annoying, you know. It's very pigmented, which is good. So you need a very little bit of it. This just happened because it's so liquidy. And you just dip it and it's like a lot of product. So you have to be very careful what you're doing with this. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of the you see the pigmentation? God damn! <laughs> see, I don't even go to the big amount, I just go to the light one. It's very pigmented. This is the tone Dusk. Dusk, guys. It's very natural, peachy color. It's a very similar tone to the Victoria Beckham blush I have. What is it? somebody was in my bathroom and took everything away <laughs> puzzle me puzzle me puzzle me i don't know this is beige intima from laura mercier yeah no i'm not gonna use this one this is the one i wanted <laughs> this is the brun pale because i'm going more for peachy tone makeup so here on the camera it looks pink <laughs> is weird but I swear to you it's not that pink on my lips let me show you I have I think uh, on a light tone skin it looks like that but when you like apply on your lips it's a little bit better so there we go it's more peachy on the lips of course or not I mean the camera really is playing with the color it's more peachy guys <laughs> so yeah that's the look for the day so on my days off I don't like to use mascara because I just want to give a break to my eyelashes so yes but you know my new favorite is Victor Beckham mascara I just wish uh, I had like a sheer serum for my lashes to like moisture them 
you asked me about what I've been using for my brows and lashes is this Revita Lash Serum guys I've been using it for like four years now it's like little eyeliner and you just apply it to the eyeline on a clean skin don't have any product on it because you will put it back in here you don't want to mix the chemicals of the products you have on with this overnight the best or the day you don't wear any makeup just put it on just put it on and leave it on and i use it on my eyebrows too they have one for eyebrows which just comes with like a lipstick brush which you apply on your eyebrows same thing same thing guys so i use one for both but of course if you want to invest buy both just kidding do whatever you want but smart away for me personally And that's it, those are my brushes. This is the makeup. Now I have to make my hair look if you hear any cursing in the background, that's him again. That's the husband. <laughs> Gosh, fabulous, fabulous guys, fabulous. <laughs> My broken eyeshadow, <laughs> this is a disaster, but I'm not going to throw it away just because it's broken, because it's a really good eyeshadow and you cannot buy another one, so I'm being super cheap, <laughs> practical, I'm being practical. Oh look, this is the sample from the foundation, in a tone 5.5, fabulous product, fabulous. I use it when we go for like nice dinner with my husband and actually put foundation on, perfect. It's just, you feel it on your skin. You don't need that much of it, so don't overdo it. I overdid it the first time because it's been a long time since I put foundation on. I forgot how to apply it. So just a little bit. This is, by the way, a great sample. I think it's from Sephora, if I'm correct. So these are my brushes, Madness. I used to be obsessed with this kind of <laughs> brush. Now when I'm older, I figure out the smaller is better because this literally covers like all my face and this is more delicate to like, you know, apply under your eye area if you want to put it, like make it more matte or just like this. I love the double side. Love the double side, guys. It's fabulous. It's two in one. Two in one. Easy for traveling, no? So now the hair time. And a little bit of moisturizer on my life because I was at the pool and my legs are suffering. <sighs> Let's take care of the hair, guys. I will be using my two favorite hair products of the season, and I swear it is Orbe. Orbe. Orbe is fabulous, guys. This is a heat protector and this is for volume. I'm running out. I've already purchased. So I'm just gonna... Ow! I just splashed my face. I used to use other products, but I tested these two and I love them. So, brush it through. That's just for a little bit of volume. For the heat protect tent, I like to use this one. If you don't use any hair protectant, I don't know what you're waiting for. Your hair will love it. I didn't use any for many years and that's why I end up with like barely any hair, I think. Plus many other reasons like a teasing and you know, tight ponytails, which I still do, which I still do. Impossible, this man. <laughs> I want to show you how I use my 300, 30,000 K feet. 30,000 K feet. Wow. I need a glass of wine. <laughs> 30,000 feet from IGK. 
because I spoke about it earlier. Oh, I'm running out. God damn. I love this product. Sometimes I don't like it much and then I come back to it and I'm just like, I love it. So, I want to have my hair like this today. I haven't ironed it yet, I just dried it. Sometimes it's better. So it depends, every day is different, right? So anyway, you just lift your hair, shake it, can you see it? And very lightly spray it. See the dust coming from it? So it's like a dry shampoo, to say it that way. But it has something in it which works as a styling product. So, yeah. It's a little dusty. Don't inhale it, it's nasty when you do. You see? So I don't have to use hairspray today because of this. Because this is what I want, guys. The lift from the roots. That's all I am asking for. And even if I just want to do like messy ponytail you just like put your hair like this hold it with the crunchy let me just use this crunchy because i don't want to put a line on my hair because that's the problem with fine thin hair right so if I do my usual ponytail without hairspray, I use this, guys. And then you just like, you know, lift it up. See, just like this. That will be perfect. And you lift up your hair here. Just like this. And this little thingy to hold the hair on the side of my head. My ear is red. <laughs> Someone is talking about me. <laughs> so there we go. That goes the hairstyle for the day. So that's how I like to use this uh, hair product. Because I like to do ponytail like this these days, but I don't want to put hairspray because then it's like all crunchy. Mm. Guys, I'm going to get Botox. Yeah. And I am driving about 25 minutes to the place, to the clinic where I usually like to go for things like that to this French doctor because I don't trust really anybody else in Miami I brought this scarf with me because sometimes it's really really cold in the office so I try to prevent from getting sick. We just arrived home from dinner. It was fabulous. I had so much of delicious food. <laughs> Two glasses of wine and sip of husband's cocktail which includes tequila guys i didn't have tequila since i was 15 i think i think it's very strong alcohol and i feel it i feel it anyway i wanted to show you my botox i mean it's not working yet but once it is, I will be so happy. So if you need a place in Miami, let me know. I will tell you where to go. But <laughs> you do need reservation. A lot of time ahead. And as well, um, 
when you arrive there they make you like 40 minutes wait with the numbing cream on your face I need to get rid of this thing